Welcome to this video. Here I am going to discuss on RAF ruler. RAF ruler stands as Royal Air Force Rule. It's a routinely employed instrument in ophthalmology and optometry practices to measure near point of conversions and near point of accommodation. It is also used as a standard tool for research purposes and to provide therapeutic orthoptic exercises. It consists of a check race, square rule, a target drums, and a handle as we see in this figure. Let's see what is target drums. Target drums consist of a rotating four-sided cubical drum held on a slider and the slider is attached to the square rule. Each of the four sides has different accommodative targets with a black print on a white background such as a reduced Snellen chart on side 1 as we see in this figure A, a section of general post office telephone directory on side 2 as we see in this B figure and a print of N5, N8, N10 and N12 on side 3 as we see in this C figure and a small black dot in the center of a vertical line on side 4 as we see in this D figure. Now square rule. Square rule is a 50 centimeter long with, which holds the drum. The four sides of the square rule are marked differently as centimeter scale in one centimeter increment on first side and a corresponding equi equivalent dioptric scale on second side and expected A scale on third side and a scale indicating the position of normal and abnormal convergence on fourth side as we see in this figure. Now check rest. Check rest is of 6 cm long and is attached to one end of the square rule. It is made up of plastic and has a V-shaped notch in the center to fit the nose of the patient. The check rest also allows the device to comfortably place on the patient's cheek. Now procedure. Near point of con conversions. Rough ruler measures both subjective and objective near point of co uh, conversions. The dot on the line is the standard target for measuring near point of conversions. The examiner holds the ruler and gently places the check root uh, check rest on the inferior or vital margin of the patient. Near point of convergence is accurately measured by the ruler in the depressed position of 45 degree. The examiner then asks the patient to focus on the black dot and slowly moves towards the patient's eye at the rate of 1 to 2 cm per second. Near point of convergence is recorded as break point and recovery point subjectively as well as objectively. The sub subjective break point is indicated when the patient either reports diplopia or until the slider is stopped by the check rest. The recovery point is noted when the patient reports single target when the slide slowly moves back. The objective values of the breakpoint and recovery point are noted as when the examiner noticed that one or both eyes diverge from fixation, it is recorded as breakpoint and when both eyes regain by fixation on the target, it is recorded as objective recovery point. Now near point of accommodation. So near point of accommodation can be measured either by using 
three remaining faces from the target drums as target. Near point of accommodation is recorded when the patient reports fl uh, first blur when the target moves towards the patient's eye. Accommodation should be measured monocularly as well as binocularly. Thank you.